Hey data fans, Reed here. Today, I wanna to walk you through a client scenario where basically there is a visualization that needed to be created that either allowed via hierarchies or columns in a table to always show certain data. So in front of us here, essentially what I have is a visualization that has a series of hierarchy levels. And when certain hierarchy levels are selected to be visible or not visible, Essentially, the client wanted to unpivot this out where all of that corresponding data would be shown via additional measure columns that would be in the visual so you would never lose the context of that. So you'd always have the associated data appearing regardless of what pivot or unpivot you did for the visualization. So I want to walk through some of the techniques I used to do that and also how I conditionally was able to show and hide those measures. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and get started. So just to walk through the output, essentially, again, the client had a visualization like this, which right now has essentially company, department, team, role, and employee ID all in the hierarchy in here. But let's assume that all we were wanting to show is maybe just the employee ID. Well, now we have company, department, team, name, and role. Everything that I just removed is now showing as a measure on the rows. Now, similarly, if I was to do company first and then employee ID next, Spread those out, I'm getting department, team, and role. So basically, whatever I show in the hierarchy won't show as additional columns with a selected measure output. And then otherwise, anything that's hidden from there will show up. So they're conditional with each other. If I have everything in the hierarchy, all I get is salary and employee count. If I only select one thing, such as employee ID, same thing. Everything's going to show up over on additional columns that I have. And by columns, I'm basically referring to metrics. But these look like a column. They're just using a selected value from a measure string. Now, what I have is essentially two parameters. One, that is the hierarchy that I've shown in other videos. And I'll actually drop you to a link down below to check out some of the other videos where you can do hierarchy selections. But that's not the context of this one. So that's what's driving the rows in here for the hierarchy levels. The other thing, by the way, noticing that I do is I'm ensuring that employee ID is always in there because that's just contextual to ensure that single values are showing up for that. So even if I unselect employee ID and don't include that, if I just do company and department, even with this not selected, I will still get that at the lowest level regardless. So it's essentially allowing me to do employee ID by itself, which will never show up twice if that field is in there twice, both in the parameter and separately on the rows. But I just wanted to ensure that it will never be absent from the rows themselves. So that's why I put it into there twice to ensure that even if I just selected team, it's technically a pairing of team and the employee ID. So that's the only extra reason it's in there. But my metrics is just measures themselves. So salary, employee count, and then the selected company, department, team, and role. Now, these are the ones that are going to be conditional to show up in the visual, depending on my configurations that I'm doing in here and what is or is not showing up in the hierarchy. Again, if I was to select employee ID only, all of those appear, but then they go away. So that comes through a technique where I'm actually applying a top end filter to this. So I have in values the metrics in here, but then I also added this metrics as an additional visual level filter like this, and I'm specifically applying to the parameter table a top N based off of a measure rank. Now, this came from a video that Boz did a few years ago on doing an auto scaling date axis. Similar process into here, where what I'm identifying is I'm basically ranking the values in here because I'm doing a top one. So I'm looking for the highest values. In this case, it's going to be, you know, a three is going to rank above a two and so on and so forth. So it's only returning anything from that metric list that gets a top build rank, basically. So things to consider and walk through into here. So I'm grabbing the selected measure name for my metric name in here, and I'm also grabbing the basically the metrics um, measure name as well for whatever those levels in that uh, hierarchy. In this case, I call it an account hierarchy, but that is basically going to grab the names of the levels into here. Now, I do have a section of things to always show. I always want to show the metric for salary and the metric for employee count. So those get put into a variable for always show, and those are always assigned at two. So they'll always get uh, the top rank, and they will always show no matter what. 
Now, the rest of the things that are in here between these selected groupings is basically looking at the hierarchy levels that's on my rows that's over here. That is being brought in for the selected groupings. And then I'm mapping each label to its group status. So I've basically seen is inside of that list of items that have been selected, do I have company? Do I have department? So on and so forth. So this is basically just a true false is company in that list of grouped values. That's from here is, is department, is team, or is the role. So all of those are basically true or false statements. And then what it does to check in this true, switch true statement here at the bottom. So basically is company in there as a measure name. And if it's not in the group, give it a two. So same thing all the way down this. So basically if it's absent, give it a top rank. If it's also absent down for the department or the team. So as soon as something like this happens, where as an example, I have company, I have department, team, the only thing that would be absent from this technically is role. So right here, that's the one that's not selected. So just looking at the measure for that, coming down to here, this is in the group. So that would be given a one. This is given a one. This is given a one. But this one validates true because there is the role in there um, from the metrics and also the role grouped is not found, meaning it's not into there. So basically it says, yes, it qualifies. Please make this visible. So that's the outcome of this is it's a combination ranking pairing to see is it in the metrics list and basically show it or don't show it depending on if it's selected from this visual. So it's a nice way to kind of auto pivot and unpivot a visualization given stuff that may or may not need to be shown as we kind of build in or out the hierarchy rows that we have on the rows in the matrix versus some columns. And all of these are, is basically just a selected value of the company. That's the reason it doesn't show at the subtotal level because it's only applicable and a one-to-one -one ratio at the company uh, employee ID level for this. But again, it was a unique client scenario that I was given to design for this, something that I hadn't thought of doing before, but they had a very specific report page where they wanted continued context and continuity between always showing these appropriate attributes as they customize the hierarchies that were built in to their matrix tables that they were using with the field parameters. So this was a way that I was able to intelligently show or hide only the relevant fields that made sense to show as soon as you deselected them from your hierarchy levels. But hopefully this is something you can maybe find useful or adapt to some of the stuff that you've done. As always, if you find this interesting, drop a comment in the comment section down below, as well as any suggestions for future videos. Our related content is here in the upper left. And you know what this means with this time now being, if you like, comment, or subscribe, uh, it will help the channel grow. And otherwise, I will see you all in my next video.